Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, folks. Welcome to Critic Box's Trailer Thursday. And this week, we are going to take our obsession for movie trailers even further and revisit a classic trailer from many years ago. We are going to talk about the director. We are going to talk about the accuracy of the trailer. Should you have taken the over or the under on the overall quality of the movie? And of course, we are going to talk about the movie itself. So, with all that being said, our trailer for this week is none other than Christopher Nolan's Inception. Let's turn that clock back. There's one thing you should know about me. I specialize in a very specific type of security. Subconscious security. You're talking about dreams? Subconscious. There it is. Mr. Carl has a job offer he would like to discuss with you. What kind of work placement? Michael Caine is actually only in the movie, I think, for maybe three minutes. Not exactly. But obviously, you got to put him in the trailer. You create the world of the dream. Oh, I remember when you, you, when you first saw that, that on the screen. And it's it's awesome. secrets. Then you break in and steal it. Well. It's not, strictly speaking, legal. Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Look at that. It's I remember exception. seeing this and just being like, what in the world are we going to walk into? Already. That's Hans Zimmer on the beat. Of course. I, I found a way home. And this last job, that's how I get there. Dreams. Real now you gotta remember this came out over 13 wake up to realize it's, something's uh, actually strange. The ability to grab your attention like that right away and kind of I mean just in the trailer alone you have so many questions. And of course, as we know, you have a lot of questions even at the end of the movie, but dreams collapsing. Oh yeah, that was an epic scene. That control. final, I think it was in the final portion, the winter scene. Remind me of like a James Bond type of scene. Such a tr like I don't I don't know. It's a terrible it's word to use, but such a trippy movie. Like it just blows your mind. Yeah. You mustn't be afraid to dream a little bigger, darling. <laughs> Tom Hardy. <laughs> Boom. I love Tom Hardy, he's the man. Wow, so, I mean, that trailer 13 years later still hits hard. It still makes me wanna go see this movie for a seventh, eighth time. It's it's just the mix of Nolan's visuals with the Zimmer, Hans Zimmer audio. It's just every time you see a Nolan movie come out, you saw it with Oppenheimer, it just gets you. So let's dive right into it. Inception was Nolan's first movie since The Dark Knight released in 2008. And as we all know, The Dark Knight was massive. But before The Dark Knight, Nolan had Memento in 2000, which was a great movie and Nolan was actually nominated for an Oscar along with his brother Jonathan for screenplay. After that, Nolan released Batman Begins in 05. And although not as respected as The Dark Knight, it truly was a great movie with a beautifully thought out script on a beloved superhero. From there in 06, we had The Prestige, which again, fantastic movie, unique story. It keeps you guessing the whole time. That was also nominated for an Oscar. So of course we get to 08 and we have Dark Knight, which I think just solidified Nolan as one of the best directors in the game, but little did we know this guy was just getting started. Q2010 and Nolan is ready to blow people's minds, literally, with his story of Inception. Like seriously, what is Mr. Nolan on? It's, it's unbelievable the creativity in these stories alone are just something to applaud, but then you take it even further with Nolan's directing and ability to capture this story in a visually astounding way, it's just, it's, it's, it's amazing. Everyone remembers the city bending up in the sky that we saw in the trailer there. It's just mind blowing stuff. And of course we have the soundtrack that Nolan always has on lock. He's got his guy, Hans Zimmer. He was at the helm for this. I think it's fair to say that Zimmer and Nolan are Hollywood's current Kobe and Shaq without a doubt. And it's honestly not only his storytelling and writing that are top tier, but it's the way in which this guy directs movie. It's 
it's something that is truly outstanding. He does not leverage visual effects in every single far out scene he does in the same way that most directors do today. For instance, the majority of his visual effects in Inception, such as the Penrose stairs that you saw, you had the rotating hallway where you had Joseph Gordon-Levitt floating around, you had that mountain avalanche, you had the zero gravity sequences. These were all created through practical methods and not through the use of computer graphics and imagery. I think the biggest thing I remember from Inception was the chatter amongst folks on how many times they saw the movie and at which point they finally understood it. For myself, I feel like I've seen this movie about five or six times and truthfully, not only did I enjoy watching it every time, but I picked up on little nuances within the film every single time I rewatched this movie. And I think that is just a testament to Nolan's attention to detail that we spoke about before, and it's what separates him from the rest. All in all, we have to bring it back to the trailer. That's why we are here. And I think no matter how good the trailer was, you could not prepare audiences for what was to come. And that's a good thing. We never want the trailer to give away too much. And I truly don't believe that two to three minutes would be even close to enough to capture the story of Inception. I mean, it's runtime of over two hours wasn't even enough. So it's 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 tough to say. But yes, the trailer was, in my opinion, great. It, it, it worked and it didn't give away too much, but it also got you coming to the theater to see it. So that is Inception and its trailer. Now that 13 years later and we've seen the movie five, six, seven, eight times, it was pretty neat to go back and see the trailer. Uh, I mean, Christopher Nolan, in my opinion, is arguably the greatest director of our time. He just brings people into the audience with his trailers, but then he, you think you've seen it all in the trailer. No, no, no. He just absolutely blows your mind in the theater. With that being said, please let us know what you thought about the Inception trailer maybe back in the day and what you think about it now, knowing what we know or don't know. Is Cobb still in the dream state? Who knows? You know Christopher Nolan ain't gonna tell us. Other than that, take care, be kind, and have a nice day.